My creator did not invent the suspension bridge. Such bridges, though small and not intended to bear much weight, have been used for centuries across the world, particularly in the East. He did, however, revolutionize them, and he used me to do it. John A. Roebling is the father of American Steel Wire Cable, also known as me. He had his idea in his birthplace of Germany after reading about experiments to make metal ropes like me. Because he'd seen none produced, he took it upon himself and successfully manufactured America's first steel wire cable in 1841. We made many bridges together. Niagara Falls, where he flew me to the other side on a kite to get started, made him the leading suspension bridge engineer in America. We connected Cincinnati and Covington. The Brooklyn Bridge is perhaps our most popular achievement, and his last. Dedicated as he always was to his work, he stood on the movable rack of a ferry to get a better view of the Brooklyn Tower site. When another boat came along and hit the rack, it crushed his toes in what would become a fatal injury. After weeks of poor self-medication, John A. Roebling died of tetanus before he could see the Brooklyn Bridge completed. His son, Washington, helped me see the project through. Though he never saw it, the Brooklyn Bridge became a great part of John A. Roebling's legacy. Together, we changed the world by making it possible to connect locations over great expanses of water. Travel between these locations would forever be made easier by the work we did. John A. Roebling may be gone, but his work, me and the bridges we constructed, will live on as a great mark of American and Trentonian history.